Hey guys, this is Lance with Fire Alarm Help, and this video is about tools, your basic tools as a helper, your basic tools as a tech, and then what other kind of techie tools you, you need. So, the basics. Actually, real quick, before we get into the basics, disclaimer, <clears throat> two disclaimers. One, it's a windy day, so I'm sorry for wind bursts, you know, it's fall other disclaimer is if I ever do a video that is super controversial in the comments where everyone disagrees it's gonna be this one it is so personal it is so intimate every person you ever meet will have different basic tools they'll be close and that's what this is for to give you a close idea of where to go if you copy me directly it'll be fine so let's go over basics. The first thing you need is a pouch. The pouch can be really anything. You want it light and you want it to be able to clip on your belt and carry tape and have a like a, like a hole. It's a pouch, like a kangaroo pouch. So I, this is like Lowe's, Home Depot. Believe it or not, different Home Depot or Lowe's, they'll have different styles of that. But I keep buying that same one, so I like it. Uh, so you get a pouch and then you need a way to cut wire. You need wire strippers or wire cutters. And there's two different options. I recommend everyone starts with this. These, these are Kleins, they're called side cutters or dikes. I recommend everyone at least know how to use it. Um, these are called strippers. These are also called, these are also Kleins and they are 18 through eight gauge. Honestly, guys, when I started, I used the strippers because the guys I worked with like, they liked the strippers. But doing new construction, they would go dull every like two weeks. So I got tired of buying new strippers. I got tired of all that stuff and I just finally moved on to that. And my life's been great. Just don't cut screws with them, they're wonderful. But I, I own both, right? And I, this is super personal. Like if you're in a crew, already ask the lead guy what he wants you to use like people get mad i mean some people are oh you will use the dykes no matter what or oh you'll use strippers dykes or duck like and the brands greenlee's fine ideal is fine klein is what everyone ends up towards so that's the, the, the cutters you gotta have it don't cut screws the next thing is a screwdriver if you guys ever cheap out on any tool ever the screwdriver you can cheap out on this is like an 11 and one incline. I keep losing the tips on these, but my next one will probably be that $3 thing from Home Depot. That's got the multi little tips, you know, don't do the ratcheting guys. So don't do the, don't do the ratcheting. They're heavy and just no. So some screwdriver. Um, the next thing you need is your pouch has to have the ability to have tape. You gotta have electrical tape. Electrical tape. Don't go out and buy the electrical tape. You'll be given the tape. So your pouch can hold tape. You get a tweaker. You need a flathead little screwdriver, a little tweaker. I tape mine for reasons that we should not go over in this video, but you need a flathead little tweaker. I see tweaker. You need a flashlight. Whatever your heart desires, guys, but think of weight. You know, this stuff starts adding up. So I have a little, get a little flashlight, clip at your pouch. Make sure the batteries work, you know. Uh, you need a Sharpie. I wouldn't go out and buy the Sharpie. You should be given the Sharpies, but, or Inksol. You need a way to write on wire. And then your pouch needs to be big enough to hold miscellaneous stuff. So when you're on the job sites, um, you're given wire nuts, pour some in your pouch. You're given screws, pour some in your pouch. It's, it's, it's helpful. Okay, so that's the basics. That's what you're running wire as a helper kind of basics. Now let's like what kind of let's upgrade. What kind of basics do you need as a tech? You know what what what, what I'm a service tech. What do I have? So you have everything we mentioned, but I have a hot stick, a way to see if the wire has electricity and might kill me. So you know you don't trust it. You want to verify, but it's good to have. Um, I get a tweaker. I would get a tweaker that's a Phillips head. Some panels you you need that also tape it but you don't have to have that in your pouch but I'd, i definitely would have that the um get a paintbrush if you're in new construction only you don't need this but i would have it in the car i get one of these nylon little rubber 
paint brushes. I use this to clean detectors. I actually didn't, I don't think I owned one when I was in new construction. So if you net, if you're not in service at all, you know, but I have that on me. Uh, you want to have a knife or a box cutter, <clears throat> depending on your company rules. I, I have the knife. It's a Milwaukee. It's fixed blade. I use it to cut the insulation around duct detectors. It's very nice. Or if you're walking downtown and it's late or something, it's nice to have a, a way to protect yourself. And keep in mind, guys, this is not your everyday carry stuff as well as the pouch. This is just your pouch. Like I have also a knife and I carry a SWAT T tourniquet. It's not your, this is not your everyday carry. So knife, box cutter. You also want to have needle notes. You'd be very surprised with how useful that can be. And then you want to upgrade your tape. You want tape that's not that black nonsense. You want the 3M color tape that you can write on. Blue doesn't matter. It can be any color, whatever you want. I had pink for a while because of breast cancer awareness and that was a mistake. Uh, the last thing I really have in my pouch that's super weird, this is just something I stumbled across. Let me pull this out. Check it out. It's a snowboard lock. It's a little thing. So yeah, excuse the wind, but if you're gonna go to the port can or something and you don't wanna leave your ladder, you just lock it up real quick. And yeah, they can cut it, but they have to cut it. So it's nice. I keep it on me. It's just something I've done since new construction. So then there's, that's the basic tools. Um, you also want a security tool, a tamper proof. They'll, say, they'll sell those at like the stores where you pick up parts and stuff. I think Home Depot is starting to sell them now, the tamper proofs. The, um, so now you want some, no, we're not going to talk about techie tools. So you need a meter. The whole goal of everything is to make more money and improve. So as a tech, you need a meter. I got a Fluke 117. It can be a 115. It's, you you want to get a Fluke meter. Please do not go to Home Depot and buy the ideal meter or the Klein meter. Don't do that. You want a Fluke and you only want a Fluke. That is it. And they'll last a long time. Um, your meter needs to be able to read DC volts, AC volts, resistance, ohms, and amps. Uh, everything else, a detachable screen, Bluetooth, whatever, it doesn't, you don't need it. Now, if money's really, really tight, that's like 120 bucks. So that's not crazy. But if money's really, really tight, I have my backup meter. It's called a Fluke 101. They sell it on Amazon. It is uh, about the size of my hand. love the little thing it's great it doesn't do amps though it's a beautiful little backup so that's that and then you also will need a toner or oscillator but i would you, you can really do whatever you want with the toner but i recommend the fluke it's like it was like 70 bucks at home depot when i got it and it's just no matter what i do i can't break it the fluke toner awesome so then the last two points of this that's the tools guys so the last two points of this before we wrap up is now that you're doing fire alarm, start collecting keys. Every time you get a key, get an extra key and start making your fire keys because you can't buy those. That's experience right there. You can't, you basically can get interviewed and they say, Hey, show me your fire keys. And if you don't have a key for it, you shouldn't touch it. You can't buy that. Like, so if you want to go into service ever, you've got to have a key for it. You can't walk up to a customer site and then they're like, oh, here's the equipment and you can't even open it. So start collecting keys now. The last thing is eventually you'll start doing nice set. And don't worry about exactly what that is, but start writing down your work history. If you're a helper for this company for this time, write that down. You become a tech for this company for this time, write that down. Save it at some point. You will need that. This is Lance with Fire Alarm Help. You guys have a good day. Thanks.